Hi, in this video we are going to learn about operations on sets and before we actually go into the details of the operations on set let's try to understand what we are actually trying to do over here. Now all of you are very much familiar with numbers and operations on numbers. Now the four basic fundamental operations for on numbers would be addition, subtraction, multiplication and division and essentially we could just pick up two numbers add them subtract them divide them multiply them and you could do these operations for different numbers it's not just limited to two numbers the same concept we apply to sets so we could do some operations over sets however it is important to understand that there are some rules by which we will be doing those operations and that is what we will learn and we also learned about properties of this different operations on numbers for example when we learned addition subtraction division and multiplication we would have looked at commutative property associative property and so on and so forth similarly we would try to look at what are the operations on sets and what are their properties specifically the commutative the associative and the identity so the three operations that we are going to study in the coming videos are the union intersection and the difference so these are the three operations that we'll study on sets and uh, one thing to keep in mind is when you do a mathematical operation on two numbers or two or more than two numbers what you get is a new number essentially right so for example if you're adding 4 plus 5 you're getting 9 so you get a new number now what does that mean when we say that I'm doing operations on set what it means is that when you do an operation on a set it will lead to a new set just in the same way as it happens on numbers right and there are exceptions for example when you multiply a number by 1 then the, then you get the number itself similarly we will have those situations in sets as well and we'll explore that in more detail later on now let us look at the first operation that we will study which is union of sets now union the word itself means combination you are combining two sets to produce a new set that's what union is about now if we were to look at the definition of union mathematically it says union of two sets a and b is the set c that consists of all those elements that are either in A or in B including elements present in both now this is the long language form if you look at it in a mathematicians language it's very very simple all we say is for two sets A and B the A union B this is what how we represent a union operation over here the A union B is defined as a third set which comprises of all the elements x where the x belongs to either a or x belongs to b which means we are simply taking the elements in a and b and combining them to form a new set that is what union of sets is so if you were to represent that using Venn diagram so we, we the mathematical form is A union B is the set of all elements X where X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Now let us say that we have this universal set and then we have the set A which is represented by this orange circle over here and then we have the set B which is represented by this uh, red circle over here and we are saying that A union B is all the elements contained in A or B okay so we combine all of them together and therefore if I were to represent a union B in this case it would be let us just shade this portion so so we include the a we also include all the elements that are common between a and B please note that this into this common part over here it, it just represents the elements that are present in a as well as B but when we say a union B it just represents all the elements in a and B so this is how we represent 
union operation by a Venn diagram. Now let us look at a simple example. So we have a set A given to us as collection of numbers, even numbers from 2, that is 2, 4, 6 and 8 and the set B is again even numbers 6, 8, 10 and 12 and now we are supposed to find out A union B. Now the definition says that all the elements that are in A or B. So in this case we would write A union B. We start with the first set. So we just write down all the elements that are there in the first set. So I would just go straight away and write 2, 4, 6 and 8. Now let's look at the common elements. So we don't need to write the common elements again. So if I look at B, 6 we have already taken care of over here because it's, it's there in A as well. Then we have 8. Well, 8 is also present in the set A. So we don't need to write it over here again separately. Now the, there are two additional elements, 10 and 12. So we'll just go ahead and write them. So we have 10 and 12. So this is your new set which is formed by the union of the set A and set B. So this is how we represent union of sets.